So if you're planning on using your iPad as a kiosk display, there are a couple cool features that are available in iOS 6. You can actually lock out certain areas of the screen to prevent access to areas that you don't want them to go to. So the way we're going to set that up is we're actually just going to go into our settings and then under general settings we're going to go to our accessibility and then we're going to scroll down to our guided access. So if we turn that on, there's an option to set a passcode. So we'll just set that as one, two, three, four. We'll just put that in two times. Now we can go ahead and just exit from there and we're set up. So we can just go into a website. In this case, we're at armoractive.com. And we want to keep people within the website. We don't want them to be able to put in their own website. So the way we're going to lock this out is we're going to triple tap the home button. And then this submenu comes up. So you can lock out hardware. You can lock out touch on the entire screen or you can select a specific area or you can also lock out motion. So in this case we want to lock out just this address bar. What we're going to do is we're actually just going to circle this and then it's going to give us a little grayed out section here. We can even change the size of our box, shape it the way we want it and then we're done. So you can see that's grayed out and then we just need to start that and guided access has started. So now that top address bar is locked out and users can't access anything there. They can still, however, access anything on the website here. So they can navigate, go to different pages, do anything like that. Now to get out of guided access, if you hit home button one time, it'll give you a prompt saying that you need to actually triple click the home button. So we'll go ahead and uh, triple click that. And here we enter our passcode and that takes us back to our guided access menu. So we can go ahead and just exit out of that and we're done with our guided access, so you can end that. Now, another issue that can come up with guided access, if someone hits the home button here, they're gonna be prompted with a message saying that they need to triple click the home button to get out of guided access. Now, if they go ahead and uh, triple click, they're gonna be prompted with a passcode. Now, if the user leaves the screen this way, this display won't go away, it won't time out or anything like that, so it'll be left there where it's prompting the next user to enter a passcode. So someone that comes up to the kiosk is gonna think that it's broken or that they need to enter a passcode in order to get into it. That's not the case. It's just, uh, that's just one of the features of the guided access that is problematic. So we do have a few solutions for that. We also have enclosures that actually will cover up the home button. We have the open home option as well. So. Uh, for more information on those enclosures, just go ahead and actually just go to iPadEnclosures.com and you can find out more information about that.